Hey guys, Navy here, and today I'm gonna make a video about how to be happy because we all know that there are way too many people out there that aren't happy. I do understand that some people have actual mental illnesses that deprive them of their happiness. First thing that goes along with mental illnesses is please don't self-diagnose, okay? If you haven't gone to an actual professional doctor and they have said you have depression or you have whatever 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 don't go around telling people that you have that because that means that you are just doing it for attention literally there's no other explanation to that than attention so step one just be yourself and i know everybody you ask is probably going to tell you that but it's true that's pretty much all you can do. It's the only thing that you can actually be in this world is yourself. Why would you try to not be? But when I say be yourself, there's one thing you have to keep in mind with that is don't put labels on your personality. The only label that you have is you. You are you. You are not anything else. You're not fat. You're not skinny. You're not annoying. You're also... You're not a cowgirl, you're not a nerd, you're not the popular girl, you're not a girly girl, you're not a goody two-shoes, you're not, you're not any of those things, you're you. Even if it's a good attribute, you're not that, it, you're you. You're not a good, you're not any of the good attributes, you're not any of the bad attributes, you're just you. And all of the attributes that are to you are specific to you, nobody else. Do not put labels on yourself. I was in sixth grade, I thought that I had found myself. I knew exactly who I was. So in my head, I was a cowgirl, I was a nerd, and I was insane. So instead of being myself, I tried to be a cowgirl, I tried to be a nerd, and I tried to be crazy. In the end, I was confused. I realized that all the things I was surrounding myself with wasn't what I wanted to be surrounded by. And I was really sad about it, and I talked to my mom, she's like, just be yourself. I don't understand why it's so hard for you. And it was because I had forgotten how to be myself. I didn't know how to do it anymore because I'd gotten so caught up in trying to be the things that I thought I was. So for like a whole year I was completely fake and even into the beginning of seventh grade it was a whole nother type of fake. Once you label it, it's ruined and it's really hard to get it back. Your personality that is. Next. You need to realize how important you are. No matter how many people you think hate you, there's always at least one person- Okay, this fan, I can't. There's always at least one person that cares about you, no matter who you are. Whether it be your parents, which for some people, their parents don't care about them. And even if your parents don't care about you, somebody else does. I promise you, somebody does. And if for some odd reason nobody does right now, somebody will eventually, I promise you. But if you give up, then you'll never meet those people. Three, you need to recognize how great your life actually is. If your parents are divorced and you live in a terrible house or you don't really have that much food or anything, you still have a better life than some people because some people don't get any food. Some people can't drink water without fearing that they're probably gonna die. Some people go to sleep not knowing if they're gonna wake up in the morning, but you have a roof over your head and a floor under your feet. I guess there's always a floor under your feet. A roof over your head and shoes under your feet. How about that? That makes more sense, right? People have said that before. All right, yeah. And there's probably gonna be a part two to this at some point, but basically, to sum up, be yourself, recognize what you mean to other people, and recognize how great your life actually is. So if you go by these three things, then it'll get you by for a little bit longer. One more thing that you can do to make you happy is listen to music. And by listening to music, music that you actually like. Don't force yourself to listen to emo music because you think that you're emo. I don't care how much black is in my closet, I still think Lenka is the bomb.com. I got this sword from Sword Out Online. If you watch that anime, high five to you. But this, yeah.
guys. I hope you have a great day and a great life. I'm gonna see you next time. Like, not putting that in the video. That's kind of rude to some people because some people are butt faces.